This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn your sheep yellow display, something like this, into a ESP32 Marauder. But what is a ESP32 Marauder? Well, a ESP32 Marauder is a penetration testing tool that uses a ESP32. You can um, de-out Wi-Fi's, spam a lot of uh, random SSIDs, and uh, make evil portals. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, I'll show you how to make one in this video. So let's go. Step is to take your ESP and plug it in to your computer with a cable that you know transfers data. Boom, like that. Now we can go to the computer. Okay, so now that we have uh, plugged in our sheep yellow display, we will head over to this, the CYM web flasher. But I will show you later where you can go if you have, because this is a uh, old version of the ESP Marauder. But this this one will, and I I guarantee you, this will work for every sheep yellow display it goes from a 1.9 inch i bet you didn't even know that one existed but it goes from that to a 3.5 inch sheep yellow display so it's crazy now we click connect and make sure that this one is the one you have we can plug it out and plug it in again boom you see this one is the one now we click connect okay if it didn't connect like that, we can uh, we can press the boot button on your sheep yellow display. Now we select the board. See, as I told you, like this, 1.9 to 3.5. Now I have this one. You choose the one you have. If you don't know, you test all of them. And then we click on current and then program. Now we wait. Okay, now when the flashing process is complete, we can head over to our device again. Oh, when you have flashed it, it will be a black screen. But why is this? First, the first step after this is we're going to plug it out. And then we're going to plug it back in again. And now you'll see this green light blinking. Okay, and now we're in. ESP32 Marauder. Now from here, I be, there is best if you have a SD card because then you can access all of the files you do from your um, um, uh, EPOL PMK ID scan, which is how to get the Wi-Fi passwords. You you put you put it in here, and you take the file and turn it into a file that Hashcat can uh, can read. Then you will um, you will uh, run it through a dictionary attack, and then you could potentially get the Wi-Fi passwords of a Wi-Fi uh, SSID. So you can have free Wi-Fi. Isn't that cool, huh? Now let's go back and uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, you can do all of the things in Bluetooth here. So yeah, th this device is really good. Best thing is um, is Diot an evil portal. Um, but that's that's all for this video. Thank you so much for liking, uh, for watching. I mean, <laughs> like and subscribe. And uh, soon, soon, pretty soon, there will be a video on this guy, the Digi Spark. But tell me in the comments what you would like to see, and I'll and I'll try to recreate it and uh, show you how to make it. And um, yeah, goodbye.